I have my hand ready. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah, go whenever yeah. you want. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I have so, my hand ready. Oh. You see it? Are we live? All right. This is. Uh, Wait. We are live, right? <laughs> Does yeah. the title of Goose Game count as the bird blog? Is then gonna put someone gonna put that in there? That's definitely part of the feathers present. I mean, um, but yeah, this is a short hike. Do we want to jump right into it? Uh, probably first, best uh, introduce ourselves. I'm yeah. Standing nerd. Uh, my name is Sokov. and I come to commentator. San Thibault. San Thibault or Cocom. Yeah. I do a couple of runs <laughs> for a short hike. But yeah, we're going to be doing all gold feathers. And if this incentive happens, we're going to be doing 90% too. But all, all gold feathers is you collect... Well, let me explain to you what gold feathers are. They are... They're like... If you collect them in the game, they're the in-game items that when you collect them, they give you like either you're able to climb or you're able to do double jumps. And there's 20 of them, so they're, we're going to be collecting all 20. Yeah, and this is specifically right. no save and quit, so we don't do save wipes. All right, you guys ready for the countdown? Yes. Yep. You sure you're on speed run mode? Yes. <laughs> all right, yeah. ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Speedrun mode. You can already yeah, see the full started. <laughs> Satanic nerd is slightly ahead of self call. Ooh. So there's gonna be a lot of collecting coins and seashells in this run, as you can see, because they collect the seashell mechanic. Because you have some of the gold feathers you have to buy, and there's this one that you have at the end that you have to get from this girl. You have to make a necklace at this girl. They're both positioning themselves for the. Chest boost. Yes, I've got the very slow umbrella boost. I might have to reset my. I've so got a good boost. This looks real yes. low. I didn't get the good boost. I might have to reset this on my end. Yeah. One of my friends is watching. Okay. So, first thing you get is you go, there's this turtle. You have to give him, you have to trade shovels with him. You trade shovels, you, eventually you build an empire out of sand, and you get to collect it. Now, we're gonna get a chest boost. Already, Zalkov is ahead of Satanic Nerd. Because chest. one of them has a... So you're a hidden chest. Uh, Another chest. Damn it, dang it. Satanic Nerd like a little bit behind, but that's fine because you can like, probably catch up later. Yeah. Alright, so this is the first RNG. transaction when they're gonna if self cough it's, it's the first transaction we're gonna be buying gold feathers. And the ranger only has two feathers. There's also the, another gold feather you get at the end. Is from what is it? It's from this painter. You have to visit him in different locations. At the very end, you you get a gold feather. So that's what they're going to be going. This is what painter one, painter two, painter three. Oh, so uh, this is the new route. Yeah, this is pretty, this is pretty boring. It's just like chest boost and just flying. So. I think Django has something to say in that yeah. time. Yeah, Paul, just, uh, do we oh, have time okay. for a quick donation? Yeah, of course. Uh, because we received a anonymous five-euro donation saying, Go Santa! 
Thank you so much for the donation. <laughs> oh, thank you. I Anonymous guess from what community that is. Can't guess who that is. Sada is one of my nicknames in one server. Another chess thank booth you. here. This one's very precise. Like, wait, never mind. But next, coming up next, is going to the lighthouse. And after the lighthouse, you get the silver feather. The silver feather isn't a gold feather. It doesn't count as a gold feather, or does it? But it makes you jump higher with your gold feathers, and it makes you fly faster. So it's very useful in the run. Satanic and Nern is slightly catching up as they're both about the silver feather. Yeah, we're using a mechanic here to climb. Um, it costs one. Oh, I can explain that. All right. <laughs> so at the very end of at the very end of your flap at, while you're climbing, if you flap, basically, still it gives you a slight height, and it still is like the same amount of feathers you use. So you're conserving feather. Oh, God, this chest can. Screw itself. <laughs> <laughs> that chest never gives me great boost. And if you don't know it's to see the any percent room, you can see me get angry then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's time for beef stick ball. Yeah. The best mm. part of the entire run. <laughs> so calm. I'm not going for the risky strat case. <laughs> And he nails it. What? Oh, Did man. I get one to pass? Dang it. One. Oh. So he didn't he didn't get it. And okay. that loses sometimes because he has to do that sequence all over again. Okay. I thought oh, it's every... starting to tie up. It's starting to tie up. Everyone gave a good last hit on the beach table. Just see. Ah. And they're both gonna get the climb, and they're both gonna get Come on. chest feather up there. The thing I didn't want to happen happened. <laughs> Missing beat stick ball. Oh, well, satanic nerd. Slight, well, not slightly. They're like. 10 seconds ahead. So look how the tables have turned. Getting another seashell. I didn't get the boost. No, he's gonna start the climb to the summit, which is actually what you need to do. Get the bucket and. Zalkov not far behind as he also is getting his time to his own. Making a lot of little mistakes right now. <laughs> no! Oh, Satanic Nerd fell. <laughs> That's gonna cost him like a good 10 seconds, giving Zalkov more time to catch up. Gotta love a good race. Got a little tide race. And Satanic Nerd reaches the top in just around six minutes. Yeah, there's a good cutscene here so I can take a drink in the meantime. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, stay hydrated. Oh, I'm throwing eight. One pixel off. This is really? <laughs> Everyone get ready for the longest cutscene ever. I don't know why they have to make it this long, honestly. I also don't know why he didn't shorten it in the speedrun mode. <laughs> Just like completely disclude it entirely. Can go fast, fastly through text. So, I it. Have a drink. Stay hydrated. Honestly, if we if we remove that, like sub two, any percent would be like possible, probably. 
definitely. But I like the cutscene. It's very atmospheric. And that's the whole point of when you can descent. Zalkov now getting, what is it, the summit. A little late. Flying the two feathers from the college kid. Three, actually. Right. I swear, if you guys accidentally miss a feather, that's gonna be like the <laughs> saddest thing ever. And oh, you you return back right. and it's just like, oh no, 19 <laughs> feathers. <laughs> it's probably not gonna happen though, you guys are fine. Alright, Salkov beginning his descent now. Falling from the artist. Alright, let's go. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> Alright. Doesn't look like you guys are any satanic nerds missing any feathers, which is a good sign. Did everything right. And now the last one, he's gonna go talk to the seashell girl. Zalkov now talking to the artist. Oh. Oh, behind. And that's all 20 feathers. Yo, I finished. Time. Sorry, I should have mentioned time is when I entered this door. Yeah. Yeah. That's four seconds off. That's it. <laughs> that was a I pretty good run. Today, and I can get PBs. Oh, no. So, uh. Kalf's a little bit behind. But it's not, it's not that bad. I, I just don't know plan. why your timer said like one minute later. Because um, seem... I had to reset the umbrella. Oh yeah. I completely well, despite the reset and time. everything. Uh you guys still did pretty good. Yes. So, right, Subtem. So I'm happy with Subtem. <laughs> you know, now it's done. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. All right. That's it. That was. Someone asked in the chat, is there a plot or is it just a bird? There is definitely a plot. There's not much There's time in the speedrun. There's a plot, speed but yeah. it doesn't really... You don't really reflect that in the speedrun just by the fact that you're going through all the text and everything. Yeah. Yeah, you no. have to climb the summit to get reception to receive a phone call from our mom who was in surgery. That's... They never the say... They never say with the mom... Yeah, they never say until the top. They just say, oh, yeah, well, it'll be fine. <laughs> and you can, yeah. and you can help people all around the island. Right. So, yeah. That's, that's about it. <laughs> well, that's it. So, I um, think we should then... at least turn to our host, indeed, if the incentive has been met. Uh, if it has, oh, well. I'm going to cool. do one last refresh to see, um, very briefly, and... Uh, the incentive has not been met, so there won't be a bonus run, unfortunately. <laughs> right. no. That's too well, bad. Can't it was still more. pretty fun. <laughs> Can't yeah. Yeah. Well, Hopefully the next incentive really... for Super Mario Galaxy Perfect Run does get met, because that one's high. <laughs> that one is cool. Yeah, I don't know, well, that's it. Thank for commentating for us. Yeah, thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. It's like the first time I've been commentating for like a massive audience, like the, like 16,000 people. I, was, I normally just commentate for like 100 at most, so this was really cool. <laughs> and you guys, you guys did a great job on your runs. Yeah, thanks. Thank thanks for BSG for having us. Thanks, uh, good luck with the rest of the marathon, I would say. Who's up next? 